Hello. So what's all this? <clears throat> well, I made some things today. So this is the one uh, shown in the video and in the measurements. Uh, and someone said you had the pieces the wrong way around. So this curve here is the same as this one, except this side is turned 90 degrees. And I looked at some uh, track tricks horns and I was like, hmm, you might be right. I kind of uh, fucked that one up. <laughs> I know uh, I used a program to model it and had to export it, export it through a CAD program and really it was like rather annoying. First I made these ones, but that was since I lost my USB stick with all my CNC stuff on it. This was not the one, so this is a complete different one. I don't know which one it is, it functions mm, well doesn't do much not for me so nice I got those and then I made this one and I'll show you the measurements between this one so it's rather nice you can put the thing on here uh, of course st stuff sticking out also I fucked up this corner because my material was not long enough but you can actually make a very simple nice horn within 10 minutes or something with the CNC at least. Not doing 3D, which helps a lot. I mean, if it was 3D, it was like more like a few hours or a day or something. But of course, that's nicer as well. But uh, yeah, I measured this one as well. And then I wondered since this compared to the other one was not so much better actually so I was like mm, I don't know this whole horn thing might be a uh, not working at all so what I did is looked at this thing and thought you know what I'm gonna make a baffle that is the same width on both sides of the tweeter and I'm gonna measure that um, well what the result is compared to this thing and also in the end compared to the real track brakes horn does it do anything in my case there must be a re if it's not working there might be not enough power or magnetic f or, you know pushing force in in the tweeter i don't know uh, i'm no horn guy so a horn guy that sounds really nasty but uh yeah last machining for today because afterwards i go play some games because it's late this is not very interesting to film but Of course not a nice baffle, but the idea is that this is like the unfolded version of this. You would say, no way! But it actually should. At least I measured this. This. Uh, and it's, I think the total length from driver, middle of the driver to the back of the driver is this which is also the same in here. Mine is uh, a few millimeter maybe, but... And the idea is, because I just want to be sure, I not want to make 
horn like waveguide kind of thingies that do look really nice I mean don't get me wrong I like this kind of stuff this curved wood thingies and such but if it doesn't bring anything to the table uh, then I rather spare my time so this is resembles the horn let's see what kind of response we get in fact this tweeter should be possible to fit in there it's really nicely taped down these tweeters uh, received some beating because of all the I said love having a CNC but if it doesn't fit I go mad it does fit but why is it sticking out so much? Oh, I see. There's a piece of wood left. So, so it's sitting like this. Ain't that pretty? Then we, we recycle these tips. They're not too sticky, so that's good because I don't want to screw up the foil there's one sticky tape here ain't that pretty so let's go and measure at least I will and I'll get back to you with the results <laughs> 